Okay, so in this quick mini lecture, we're going to discuss the topic of optimization. So as you read through this, I'll talk a little bit about it. Um, we know that we can use calculus to determine actually maximums and minimums of functions. So it's going to be really useful for a lot of different real world situations. So anytime you can use an equation to describe your situation, you can find the maximum or minimum like the maximum height of something or minimum costs, uh, the maximum area that is needed, uh, the minimum amount of materials. So you have to understand um, and be able to take the derivative and then set it equal to zero. And then when we're going through the process of optimization, the function in question is not really explicitly given. So you're going to have to kind of come up with it and build it. So in each context, there's always going to be a variable, one variable that you have to optimize, and then there'll be another variable that'll be subject to a constraint. So you're going to be able to identify the difference between the two. So if we look at our example, it says a farmer has 80 meters of fencing to enclose the greatest rectangular area in a field. What are the dimensions of the greatest area? So he's trying to optimize his situation, maximize it to um, make sure he's using the greatest amount. Of course, he's a farmer. He wants to do that, right? So what are we trying to optimize? If we take a close look, you're trying to optimize. So he's trying to optimize the area. And then you have to say to yourself, okay, what looks like it may be a constraint. Well, to me it looks like the constraint is the perimeter. So first you want to set the situation up mathematically. So if you're looking at a rectangular field in the area, the area formula is A equals L times W, right, length times width. And if you're looking at perimeter, the perimeter of a rectangle, um, we know perimeter is just all the sides added up, but we can build into a formula, right? It's 2L plus 2W. And we're told that the perimeter is 80. So we can say it's equal to 80. So after you do that, that's the big step, you want to rewrite the area in terms of one variable, right? In terms of one variable right now, it's in terms of more than one. So we're going to rewrite it in terms of 1 using the constraint. So here, L is going to equal to 40 minus W. 40 minus W. So area is equal to 40 minus W times W. And then that looks to be equal to after you distribute, right? So you distribute the W. You can get 40W minus W squared. Okay. So let's break this down a little bit further um, and understand how we got that L equals 40 minus W. So if we have area equals length times width, and then down below it we have 2L plus 2W equals 80. Well, if I solve for 2L, I'll subtract 2W from both sides. Then we get 2L equals 80 minus 2W, dividing everything by 2. Then I get L equals 80 divided by 2 is 40 minus the 2's cancel there, W. So that's how we got that right there. Okay, so we see how we got the L equals 40 minus W, just from the previous explanation. And now we take that, and we're just going to substitute it in, right? L equals 40 minus W. We're substituting that in to A equals L W. Well, it's telling you what L is equal to, so you're plugging that right there. So area equals 40 minus W, right? 
40 minus W, and then the width is W. So we just plugged in 40 minus W in for the length because it said so. And then I stated that we would just go ahead and distribute to get this right here next. Okay, so since that's cleared up, let's keep moving forward. Right? We have area equals the 40w minus w squared from right over there. So now we have to take a prime, meaning take the derivative. So the derivative, as you recall from your uh, derivative notes, of 40w is just 40. The derivative of w squared is 2w. Okay, so then we just take the derivative and set it equal to 0. 0 equals 40 minus 2w. And then we can have 2w equals 40. If we add 2w to both sides, we get 2w equals 40. Divide both sides by 2, you get w equals 20. So if we were to go ahead and use a sign diagram, we would see that there's a maximum at W equals 20. So we can solve for L using the equation that we got for the perimeter. Right? So that was L equals 40 minus W. Take a look back up, right? 40 minus W. So then you just have L equals 40 minus 20. And then we have L being equal to 20. So in defining the length as 20 and the width as 20, so area equals length times width, we have 20 times 20, that gets us 400, and we're using meters squared. So the fenced area is maximized with a value of 400 square meters.